I can't call out. Why are my calls are dropping? The sound quality is terrible. If this sounds familiar and you haven't heard of this open source powerful SIP capture and monitoring tool, Homer, then this video is for you. Today we're going to look at Homer, a tool you really need if you are managing or using a SIP network. Even if you are running just one server as a PBX for your office, let's say a free PBX or Fusion PBX, you should definitely consider monitoring it with Homer. At the very least, when a customer or one of your users complains that I can't call out or the sound quality is not good, you know where to look at and you have a visibility of your SIP network. And when your carrier as always says, this is not my problem, provide me logs or some proof, you have something to provide for them. Of course, we can capture SIP traffic using tools like SNGREP or by enabling SIP debug in your asterisk or free switch system. However, using Homer has a clear advantage. It allows you to capture and save SIP traffic without affecting the performance of your server. And also when you have multiple SIP elements, it will give you a better visibility. Homer is backed by an amazing team of developers and contributors. You can find plenty of resources from installation up to advanced topic in their official GitHub page. And if you are looking for an enterprise level SIP capture and network monitoring tool, take a look at their enterprise level product, HEPIC. As I know, they have on-premise and also cloud solution, and I personally used the on-premise one, and it's a great tool. You should really consider it if you are looking for such a product. While there are a lot of amazing videos on what is Homer, what are the components, how they work, how you can integrate with different systems, but I think the best way to learn is to just install and try it. I'll show you how you can easily set up this system and start using it right away. Believe me, the team did a great job and the installation and the process is so fast and easy that everyone can try it. I'm using Debian 12 and I'm installing using Docker, but if you don't know anything about Docker, don't worry. Just follow the steps and you are good to go. So let's get to work and install Homer. The latest version of Homer is version 10, but here I will teach you how to install Homer version 7 because I prefer that for a lot of scenarios and also if you want to start working with Homer, I think it will be easier because of its web panel. Uh, of course, the installation is very similar and uh, you can find all the steps in the SIP capture JIT repo. I have prepared a manual, a version of this manual for myself that I will share the link in the description of this video. You can follow that one, but always disclaimer, use the uh, source, use the main source that is the SIP capture, uh, Homer, and wiki page, and also the GitHub. So I have provisioned a VM uh, in the DigitalOcean cloud. Of course, you can use any other cloud provider. It's version Debian 12, and uh, let me SSH the system. The first step, because we are installing using the Docker, is to install uh, Docker, dot uh, io and also docker compose so apt install docker io and docker compose if it is not installed it will install for you i have already installed it so uh, that's okay and we need to systemctl enable docker and also we need to start the service so I installed Docker and Docker Compose, and also I enabled the web service, the Docker service, and also I start the Docker service. The next step is to go to CD USR SRC. This is where we want to clone the uh, Homer 7 code. So with the JIT clone, let me copy paste the command, JIT clone the Homer 7 Docker repo. And here you can see we have Homer 7 Docker folder. Go to Heplify server and also to home 7 prom all so we are in this pass usr src homer 7 dash docker heplify server slash home 7 dash prom dash all and if you check here we have a docker compose file that it will tell you where uh, it will instruct where to get the images what are the configurations files and how do you run it if you are not familiar with the docker just run it right because you want to make the monitoring system running so docker uh, compose up dash d dash d will 
run will automatically, this command will automatically read the docker compose.yaml file. It will download whatever is required, like um, images, and also uh, it will run it in the background. So the first time that you are running, it will download the packages if it is not downloaded, and uh, it will run the systems for you. I have already downloaded and run this command late, uh, before, so that's why it didn't download the packages. And then, in, in order to see if the, uh, everything is running smoothly, you can run docker spaced ps, and you can see that, okay, the uh, SIP capture web application, the Heplify server, the alert manager, node exporter, Grafana, Prometheus, and Loki, all of them are running and they are up for 15 seconds, 19 seconds, and as you can see, the ports are published. So what we need to access right now is to access to the IP address of our VM, because it's already published uh, for the uh, all IP address of the host as well, port 9080. Don't use this for your production. I'm telling you right now, you need to secure your installation, or you will expose all of all the data of your system and SIP network. So it's not meant to be installed and used in a public network, although you know exactly what you are doing and limit access just, for example, to your IP address. So let's see, let's go back to the panel and see how it, does it look like. So in order to access the web panel, you need to enter the IP address port 9080. The username is admin and the default password is SIP capture. By default, there is no capture data here, so you won't see anything. This is the panel for the search. And now this, the main step is to uh, have a system. Let's say we have an asterisk or free switch or any other system. It doesn't even need to be the open source ones because you can capture, you can install the agent and capture the traffic and send it to our homer and see how does it look like. I have prepared a small lab for this uh, video to show you how the Homer can capture traffic from different type of systems and how it will show in the web panel. For this lab, I have set up a free switch that my soft phone that I'm using Zoiper is installed in this free switch. The free switch uh, is in my local network and it's protected by a SBC. I'm using Camellio here um, and the SBC will route traffic to my other SIP server that is my SIP trunk server, and the SIP trunk server is connected to multiple providers that one of them is 2LU Cloud. So when I want to send a call out, the uh, Zoiper will communicate with my free switch, it's registered in my free switch, the invite will be sent from my Zoiper to the free switch, free switch to the SPC, SPC to the Camellio, that is uh, my SIP trunk, and the SIP trunk to the 2LU Cloud, and all of them are captured the SIP traffic are captured by my Homer server that I just installed. Uh, there are two main methods to capture the SIP traffic. A lot of systems, like for example, FreeSwitch, Camellio, OpenSIPs, I don't know, name it. They have a, a built-in support uh, for the HEP and they can send traffic to the Homer. But uh, we also have the capture agent that we can install and configure it and then it will uh, a sniff and capture uh, the SIP traffic and it will send to our Homer system. You can find how to capture the SIP traffic from your PBX system or how to install the uh, capture agent from the uh, SIP capture GitHub. I have my own version in my uh, GitHub as well that I put the link in the description of this video. Feel free to use that one as well. So um, if you want to use the SIP capture, you can uh, uh, go to the SIP, uh, GitHub SIP capture and then select Homer. Uh, here um, there is a wiki page, and in this wiki page we are using uh, we are using SIP Homer 7. As I told, the latest one is Homer 10. In install and try it. That's cool as well. And here you can see HEP agent example. So for example, if you have a let's say free switch. These are the uh, steps that you need to do in your free switch system, or if you have an asterisk, or I don't know, um, open sips or Camellio. The cool thing is that even if you don't want to install the agent or even configure your system, you can use SNGREP, right? Uh, you can use the SNGREP with this uh, command to uh, listen to the interfaces, to uh, listen to the port 5060, and send traffic to our HEPIC server. So even 
if you have a server of your customer that you want to capture the traffic for a specific time and you don't want to install the capture agent or you don't want to change any configuration in the free switch, asterisk, or Camellio, then you can even use SNGREP to uh, monitor their server for a specific time. Of course, it's not a good idea to run it for a long time because the server will crash, but at least that can be used as well. So all the uh, steps and configuration you can find in the wiki page here. So I have configured the SIP endpoints in my lab, including the free switch and Camellio to send the traffic to my Homer server, and I want to show you how does it look like in the uh, Homer right now. So I will log into the panel, and by default, it will show the last five minutes. We can select to any other time range that you want, or if you want to set for auto refresh, and let's see how the packet will look like. Of course, I have did some configuration here. I have named my servers, but as you can see, the packet is coming from my free switch, the internal IP address, it sends to my SPC system. Of course, my free switch uh, has two IP address. It has a public IP address as well. I mean, it's translated to a public IP address, so the response will be to public IP address. Then the packet will go to the SIP trunk and from SIP trunk to the Twilio system. So as you can see, I can see all the call flow in a graphical way. And if I want, I can export it as a pickup, as a text, as a PNG, or I can share the link if it is a public server. And also I can look at the different information, ringing time, duration, or the flow of the uh, SIP packet. That's the main thing that you can select. Of course, there are a lot of things that you need to learn and um, experiment them. For example, uh, let me show you here if you can see, uh, it shows the name because I'm using alias to define a SIP capture ID and an IP address to a name. I mapped a name to an IP address, so it's easier for me to understand. Or you can correlate uh, the packet. So if you have agent in multiple parts, then it shows you in a proper way. For example, this public IP address and internal IP address can be shown as one server so that it's less confusing that part. But at least you can see what's going on. You can click on the... Uh, Invite, for example, see the packets, see the STP information, the invite information, all of them you can see, you can export them. And also even uh, you can add panels for the registrations. If there is a registration happening, for example, here, it's as you can see, my Zoiper is registering in my internal IP address of my server. That is uh, 192, this is the IP address of my Zoiper, my internal, my laptop, and this is the IP address of my free switch system. So even you can monitor the SIP register packets, uh, mostly for the invite and calls. And also you can define uh, custom SIP headers here, in here as well. Mm, for example, let me show you. Let's set it to last 15 minutes. I have created a custom. Uh, SIP header x-c-call ID that is unique in all the calls because the call will come from Zoiper to free switch, free switch to SPC, SPC to uh, SIP trunk and then to audio. I want to have all related packets to that a specific call. So I defined a xc custom xc call ID that is unique and it won't change because the call ID will change because if I have a back-to-back -back user agent like free switch, it will generate a new call. Um, but the header won't change. So I added this x-c-call ID and I configured my Homer to show that and added to the search list. And for example, if I search for that x-c call ID, I can see all the packets related to this call in my network. So I can see the call comes from FreeSwitch to SPC. The response will be to FreeSwitch. As I said, I have two IP addresses, then SIP trunk, and then Twilio. And all of these packets are related to the same call. Why? Because they have the same custom SIP header. Uh, that's it. I hope this video is useful. Uh, and uh, it's exciting for me to know what SIP monitoring or what monitoring tool are you using? If you are using something else, if it is open, if it is open source, if it is commercial, just name it. It will be uh, amazing for me to know what solution are you using. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.